Welcome back. Uh, I guess if you found this video, you probably already found my Excel uh, duty roster. I thought I'd post another video just to show you some of the little bit more nuanced features that you may or may not know about. So let's uh, get started. If you notice here, we've got our typical duty roster. Here we're going to uh, assign charge of quarters. We have a list of uh, soldiers, highest rank to lowest. Uh, one of my earlier videos, I mentioned that backwards, so I apologize if anybody's uh, done it wrong. Uh, remember, the duty roster will assign a number if it finds one, and if it doesn't, it'll keep looking to the left until it runs out of columns or it finds the proper number. This uh, roster is going to treat weekends and inner holidays with a unique assignment. So in a month that we have a holiday, it's going to be looped in with the uh, weekend days. You'll notice the bars here, the color gray bars show weekends and holidays. It's not in red for the, the uh, reg, but you know, most of it will be printed in black and white anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, create the roster up here in row three. You see we're going to assign one soldier per day for each duty. Uh, you can change that if we wanted to, you know, chart, uh, you know, have KP and assign, you know, two people on Fridays or something like that. You would manually come in and change this to a two. Uh, but let's go ahead and create the roster. When we hit the button up here to create roster, we will uh, see that it didn't find a number here. I left this in blank on purpose, so we have to supply a number. You'll notice the uh, check box says, hey, I couldn't find a number. Give me one. So it's defaulted at one, but I'm going to go ahead and tell it to do three. When I hit OK, it then goes and starts assigning numbers for the weekend days. Again, we didn't find a number. Now, if we had a previous weekend that had a number, it would find it, but we don't here, so I'm just going to give these two soldiers ones. You'll notice here it's went through and assigned the duty. Uh, hopefully most people are aware of this. You know, we have A's and uh, D's and U's. So here's a U, here's a D, and here's an A. So if we look at this soldier, Callaway, two, three, four, where we have a D, which would become uh, five and then six. Six would be the first highest number, and he would get the duty wherein we have an A, so 3, A does not advance the number, so he picks up 4 here. Uh, so D's and U's advance the number, A's do not. Uh, hopefully you already know that. One of the things I want to point out here is you'll notice that the duty roster is 40 days long. Most months are 30, 31 days. If we go ahead and change the date here to a month, or to a new date that contains data that's already on here. So one of the things when I wrote this, I decided, well, if we want to hang up July's duty roster and start on July 1st, I'll put in July 1st. Uh, the duty roster says, hey, wait a minute. The date you just entered already lists assignments and duty. Do you want to keep those assignments? So if we say yes, uh, what it will do, it will migrate all the end of the chart to the left and restart. So notice the July 1st on comes where another nice thing happens. Uh, it clears out the ones in row three. So if we want to continue and assign the rest of the next month through August, we just simply hit create roster again. Notice it didn't prompt us for anything. We had all the numbers we need. Again, you know, it will search back and try and find uh, if we're on a weekend, it will search back to the previous weekend. So that does does that. So hopefully you found that out on your own. If not, uh, it is a, a nice uh, it is a nice feature. What you can also do is add a soldier mid month or mid roster. So if we type in a new soldier's name, and I guess uh, let's see what I got here. I guess I did them all in capital. So. So I'll put in Smith, and we'll give him a rank. Uh, we do not have to put in the rank as, or, or sort the list. It'll do it for us. So if we pick someone, and let's uh, make this a corporal. Let's see if we can find it. Sorry, uh, it's cut off the screen here, but uh, let's make sure. Yeah, so ideally, remember, the, the ranks are highest to lowest. So if we didn't add a soldier and recalculate the roster. And if we hit this button, 
it then prompts us for the date the new soldier is available. So let's say that he is available uh, July 12th. So I will put in July 12th in any kind of Excel number format, and it will take it. If I hit this, you'll see what happened is Smith was assigned and moved to the proper position in the roster. He's the highest ranked soldier, so he would move to the top. You'll notice again, we've cleaned out the roster assignments and left one. So then if we continue with assigning rosters numbers, we don't have uh, a number for Smith the whole time. So we have to supply one for each, for weekday and weekend. And once we get that, he will then be assigned the roster. Now, the rest of the soldiers will be recalculated. So depending on how your unit handles that, I'm sure most people do not, you don't want to have them changed once they're posted. So I don't know how well that would work. Uh, but keep in mind, it is something I was playing around with years ago, and I thought I would share it. Uh, last but not least, one of the things we can do is we can clear the duty roster of assignments, but keep the assigned duty. So what we, if we clear this roster of assignments, it will warn us that we're going to clear all the numbers, only leaving exception codes and, and duty codes. We don't have any exception codes in here because I didn't put any in, but it would leave them. So if I say yes, it then asks us one other thing. Uh, should we convert the existing duty slashes? And if, if we should, what should they be converted to? So I'm just going to put in... CQ for charge of quarters, and if I do that, it will go ahead and change this. Now, what, what this allows us to do is possibly assign a second set of duty on this particular sheet. So I only have two listed here. You can list more on the required information tab, but if I change the duty, it then says, hey, the nature of duty has changed. Would you like to apply a default number of one for each day. That's back up in row three here. And we'll go ahead and say yes. Sorry for my message boxes being cut off, but you see we have all the, the number ones assigned. So again, I don't have any numbers, but if I come back here and create roster, I'm going to supply the numbers really quick. And again, if we stop here, we don't have a number that can be calculated because this person's duty, so we'd have to look on the last sheet. I'm just going to give them a 1. We don't have initial numbers for the first weekend. Again, we would uh, calculate those off the last sheet. I'm just going to go with 1s again. And again, we didn't have one for this person, so we'll put that in there as 1. Once we get those, you know, the, the sheet, you know, the, the, the benefit of the sheet is... is it tries to find it for you. If it can't, you, you only have to provide it then. But now this allows me to post the KP duty roster, but I also have who's got charge of quarters. So uh, who's ever assigned charge of quarters on a particular day could not have uh, KP assigned to them on that same day. Uh, it doesn't screen for back-to-back -back, uh, overlap here. Uh, that is something that... Uh, I don't know, depending on your unit's policies or how you handle that, you want to be uh, advised. But anyway, that's just something that not everyone probably knows, um, but I thought I'd post it and kind of clarify that. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed uh, using the roster. I always like uh, seeing in the, in the comments, you know, what base or where you're at, where you found it from, and if you're using it and enjoying it. Until then... Uh, you know, thanks for all the kind words that people have uh, emailed me about it, and I, I, I thank everyone for their service, and I hope this saves you guys some time.